13 North Carolina football players are facing suspension due to selling off special edition Jordan sneakers. Man, they love to cheat at that school, don't they? I mean, honestly, they don't go to class, and now the football players are selling their shoes to people? Is that really what's happening here? After numerous scandals throughout their programs, which have yielded no punishment whatsoever, what does UNC have to do for the NCAA to finally come down on them? I mean, I really don't think they're going to do anything to them. Because what, these kids are just selling their shoes so, so they can eat, right? If they're not going to give them any money, the NCAA, they've got to make money somehow. I'm surprised they don't just sell weed and pills. Seriously. I mean, make a living, right? But I'm not surprised at all it's North Carolina with all their cheating. You know, and then they always, you know, it's so funny. Let me be brief. So they'll always announce how great it is. They're naming the, the floor after the basketball coach, Roy Williams Floor at, at a Dean Smith Center, right? It's the Roy Williams Court, they're going to name it, like Coach K Court. So they've named the court after the guy that let everybody cheat. I love it. It's the guy, you know, no one goes to class, no one does any work, just play basketball and win national championships. No one ever gets in any trouble at North Carolina. And then their uh, football players are selling their uh, shoes. What's next? Their bodies? They're going to start a prostitution ring down in uh, Durham and, and Chapel Hill? People in Durham are like, wait a minute, we got nothing to do with this. What do you bring us up for? I don't like you either. How's that sound?